event. It's a real celebration for professional services staff, academic staff and all the students who we work with. It's a real celebration and even in difficult times it's very important to recognise people who've made an immense contribution to the college. I'd like to welcome you all to this King's Award Ceremony 2013. Now, as some of you may recall, we established the King's Awards in 2007 to recognize the success of our staff and students and our alumni throughout the year. And I think it's fair to say that these occasions have gone from strength to strength. Please welcome to the stage the first recipients of the Most Outstanding Contribution to the Student Experience Award, Professor Susan Lee and Richard Barnard. So to be nominated for a King's Award by the Student Forum is very meaningful for us. I think it's a great privilege to be nominated for an award, especially around student experience. The award for the Investigator of the Year goes to Professor Louise Archer. The Excellence and Innovation in the Arts Award goes to Deborah Ball. I came to the awards ceremony last year and I was really quite new to the college. I loved it because it enabled me to see the range of activity that was going on, um, the range of things that people were achieving for the college. Um, and within one year to have been nominated for this award is a great credit to my team, um, without doubt, um, who have done remarkable things over the course of this first year. He is an exceptional role model for young people everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in humbly congratulating the 2013 recipient of the Principal's Award, Michael Smith. For especially undergraduates, for their achievements to be recognised, that means all students have a voice at King's as well, and, uh, and the student voice is incredibly important. This alumni came to King's as an undergraduate in 1947 to read natural sciences in the field of physics. Earlier this year, he was awarded the 2013 Nobel Prize in Physics. I feel particularly honoured looking around the uh, people who have been nominated and uh, received awards today. And I'm actually still part of this community. Um, I'd like to thank the college, my nominators, and anybody else who gets in the way for putting me in this position. I am indeed deeply honoured. Our second, therefore, Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Professor Sheila Kitchen. What I got was a real sense of the spread of expertise, but above all, the commitment to looking after students, to looking after the wider public, and to being part of this community that we call King's College London.